Hey guys, I'm Jeffrey. I'm Dan. And together we perform and produce tracks as Rogers and Dean. Today our track Jungle has been released on NCS. It's a drum and bass track and it sounds something like this. Today we're going to give you an insight in how we made this track. Last December we got our hands on an amazing vocal by Demi Lotis and this is how it sounds. In the darkest night I saw your eyes oh, 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 oh. A sense of threat that I can forget It's 120 beats per minute but when we sped it up, we thought it would fit perfectly on a drum and bass track. Our last release, a remix for Urban Step called Choices, uh, was also a drum and bass track, so we were already in the vibe. We started by making a chord progression which fits the vocal. In the darkest night, I saw your eyes A sense of threat that I can forget then we used the score progression in the intro with a pad sound and an organ sound. The pad sound is a combination of a spiral preset and a silent one preset and for the organ we used Omnisphere, which really gave it a lot of character. Underneath there's a bass. We also use Silent One for this, and it's a preset we made years ago, but we still use it a lot in our basses today. The next element of the intro is an ARP. It repeats the same notes and fits perfectly with the chord progression. If you play all of this together, you get something like this. To create some atmosphere, we took a small part of the vocal and looped it. We used Valhalla Room with a long decay as our reverb and kickstart for side chaining. Without this, uh, it would sound pretty weird. And finally, we added some samba shakers to add some more energy into it. After 10 seconds the vocal starts playing and we basically use the same elements as the intro but with a filter applied and some effect sounds. In the darkest night I saw your eyes A sense of threat that I can forget In the second part of our break, which is the build-up, we start introducing the drop lead and it's from Synthmaster. In terms of processing, we started with some OTT to make the sound a bit more bright, a kickstart for sidechaining and some heavy EQ to remove the annoying frequencies. To finish, we added some reverb and used parallel processing to duck the reverb whenever the lead is playing. You can achieve this by sending the dry signal to a limiter, which you put after the reverb, this way the lead sounds a bit more clean. In the build-up, the bass is a combination of a serum preset and an acoustic bass from the Nexus Guitar Extension Pack. The Serum preset sounds like this. And the acoustic bass sounds like this. Working towards the drop, we used the drums of the drop to have that signature drum and bass build-up. To 
create even more contrast with the build-up and the drop, we used the Endless Smile, which is designed to turn the input signal into a rising build-up leading to the drop. The most important things of the drop are obviously the drums and the bass. For the drums we went for the iconic drum and bass rhythm which sounds like this. We made these drum loops a while ago in Ableton when we were doing a dedicated loop making session. There's also a ghost kick which we use for sidechaining the bass and we used a short kick in order to have more control in the side chaining settings. For the bass itself, we used a serum preset, which is playing the fundamental of the chords. In terms of processing, we used kickstart to create a pumping feel. There's also some EQ to clean up the bass, followed by a fab filter Saturn to add some brightness. Finally, there's a compressor which we use to sidechain the bass, like mentioned before with the ghost kick. Some things we mentioned before are coming back in the drop, such as the lead and the arp, created with Synthmaster, the pads and the looped atmospheric vocal, which all together sounds like this. Finally, we added some violins, like we do in a lot of our tracks, because we love violins. After the drop, we turn into the second break, which has the same elements as the first break, albeit with more orchestral instruments, such as trumpets, violins and a filtered piano. And all together, the second break sounds like this. Since the second drop is basically the same as the first drop, we will go straight into the outro, which is a combination of orchestral sounds like we mentioned before. We have the trumpets from the second break, the piano which is also from the second break and is a library from Contact called the Grandeur, the samba shakers from the intro and last but not least our signature sound which we always use in our tracks and it's a combination of bird sounds. And that's basically it. This is how we made our track called Jungle. We hope you learned something from this and if you have any questions left please Put them in the comments and we will be happy to answer them. You can also follow us on Instagram or Facebook at Rogers and Dean. And if you want to listen to Jungle, it's out now on NCS. We will provide a link in the description. Ciao. Ciao.